She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. It's that time of the month again. Monthly favorites. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today I have for you my January favorites. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the products that I've been loving recently and they're a lot because I didn't show my December favorites since I did a yearly favorites. It's gonna be lit. I also have some music favorites at the end of the video. But before I start, I do want to mention I'm going on vacation. I'm so excited that I'm finally escaping the New York City weather because I'm over it. I'm going to DR for almost two weeks. So if you guys want, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram because I'll be more active there. I'll be definitely vlogging it, so stay tuned for that, but let's jump right into it. This jacket has a pink layer that doesn't want to stop showing, and I already know it's going to be stressing me out throughout this whole entire video. Starting with makeup, because I have less products to share with you guys, this one is the Patrick Star Loose Powder from MAC, and I am so in love with it. I've been using it for almost two months now. I started using it in December and it's honestly one of my top favorite loose powders. It's literally all I've been using. It's so mild, so soft, and it just blends really nicely under the eyes. I feel like it's worth every single penny. I've heard that it's similar or comparable to the Laura Mercier powder. I've never tried that, but this one is bomb.com. If you're looking for a loose powder that will set your face nicely, it wouldn't give a flashback, this one is it. Drugstore alternative has to be the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Powder. I've also been using this a lot recently. This one feels more thin compared to the MAC one or like a feather-like touch because to me this one is a lot more full coverage but I still feel that it's pretty comparable and a great one from the drugstore because drugstores don't really have that many loose powders. My favorite has to be the Airspun as you guys know. Second favorite is this one. Now, a recent, like super recent favorite of mine has to be the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I literally don't even have a full week using this and I am so obsessed and in love with this concealer, guys, that I feel like I have to share with you. I know everybody here on YouTube talks about this and it's for a good reason. First of all, it's extremely affordable. I believe it's $6 or $6. 50. It's like hands down the best concealer I've used. My top favorite concealers to me have to be the Naked Skin High End L'Oreal True Match and the Maybelline Instant H311. Those are my top favorite. But this one tops all of them. The one that I use, it's medium, but I do have golden and medium tan as well. But the one that I'm currently using, it's medium and it's bomb. If you guys want to see it in action and how it works, make sure to check out my last tutorial, which I featured it. Lip products, I first have to start with the Flower Lip Liner. This has been my ride and die for like almost two months as well. I cannot believe, first of all, how much product I still have left because I've used this a lot. I still have a decent amount, therefore it has a lot of product. I mentioned this in my top favorite nude lipsticks. I definitely need to get a backup because I, I haven't found a lip liner this good and this long lasting and just like glides right into your lip. The shade, by the way, it's toffee. And then liquid lipsticks, recent favorite of mine, has to go to Maybelline. These are the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks, and my favorite shade has to be this nude one, which is called Driver. I can technically use this on its own because it's way too light for me, but my favorite lip liner comes right in hand with this and it just looks super nice together gives you a really nice natural nude lip and then i've also been loving seductress which is more of a pinky nude and a purpley brown color is protector so those three have been my favorite i really like the formula the only thing is that it does feel a little bit sticky while it's drying up but aside from that works amazing it's super long stay like the name more color pop products this video is not sponsored by the way but i have been loving the give it to me straight palette from them like i mentioned on my last video it's perfect for valentine's day it's perfect for like a nice everyday kind of look or intensifying any look with the smoky row they are extremely pigmented like I showed you guys on that video so again if you want to see it in action definitely go check that video out because I do swatch a few of them and then blushes from them these two have been my favorite which is between the sheets is what I have on my cheeks right now you can barely tell because I don't really like intense blushes but this one is definitely right up my alley because it's more of a mauvey nude pink kind of shade and then more of a dramatic still not really it's the drop of a hat it's more of a orangey pearly corally shade is that even a description? I don't know, but it's beautiful. Setting spray, I think I've mentioned this before in a video, if I'm not mistaken, like trying out new makeup for 2018, but this is the best setting spray I've used in some time. Let me just, let me, mm. it's so good. 
first of all it feels amazing on the skin it has a really wide open spray which is my favorite part about it and then it also sets your skin really nicely especially for the winter time because usually I, I have normal combination skin but I still always have to set my face because I do notice a difference and like my face looks more cakey without setting spray so a setting spray is a must I feel like I should have started with this for makeup but since I'm moving on to skincare next this is somewhat of skincare as well and it's a primer from Ofra. This is the Cool as a Cucumber. It's a moisturizer and primer in one. I believe this is her first primer. I didn't have my expectations way too high for this but this blew me away when I tried it out. I've been using it every day ever since I got it and it is such an amazing primer. It literally blurs everything and adds a nice layer before your foundation. It also helps it stay longer. It kind of feels like glue at first when it's drying. I know that sounds weird but it actually just makes it feel and look like it's working. I'm doing a really bad job describing this, but it is a really great primer. I think I have a discount code, which is Natalie. I'll list it down below for you guys if you want to use it. Starting with skincare, I have to give a huge shout out to Elemis Makeup Remover. This has been my ride and die for the past two months, and it is the best makeup remover I've used ever like ever ever as you can see I've used quite a lot of it it's a cleansing balm and it's somewhat similar to the Clinique makeup remover that they have in a balm formula which I have and I like the only thing is that that one has an oily texture and feel to it and it leaves like an oily residue in my opinion I really dislike that texture and feel in my skin just like removing it is so tedious to me and it's super messy as well but this doesn't have an oily finish to it it melts nicely on your skin it removes everything and it still has a moisturizer finish to it but not oily which I'm obsessed with the only con that I have to mention is that it is a little bit expensive so you know you have to pick and choose your battles in a way but I feel like definitely ask for your birthday or splurge because it's worth every single penny. Next up is this facial mist. It's from Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. It's vegan and I haven't, I don't have that long using it, but I do love the feel of this in your skin. I've actually used this just as a regular moisturizer in a way. Like if I don't want to stress moisturizing my skin, I just spray this. It feels really nice for your skin. It's refreshing. It's kind of sort of moisturizing, at least for me. It has a rose scent, which I love. Probably if you have sensitive skin I don't know I wonder if this works as a setting spray as well because I would totally use this as a setting spray face mask Peter Timoth Roth has been one of my favorite brands for face masks skincare in general they make amazing amazing products and I was actually lucky enough to be part of this campaign so if you guys go and check them out they did post a picture of me go and like this new face mask definitely is one of my top favorites it's the hungarian thermal water mineral rich atomic heat mask that's what it looks like it seems like a thick butter in a way the ingredients in this it's amazing for your skin i just read slightly and it says that it has pomegranate and i'm all about pomegranate so Things. One of the ingredients that blew my mind away when I went to the event is the fact that it has minerals from deep within the earth's crust. What? The coolest part about it is how it works. So you basically just apply a thin layer and then you spray some water and it heats up or warms up a little bit in your skin and it feels like a spa or a sauna is in your face right now. And then once you remove it, you instantly feel and see a difference in your skin. It just looks super hydrating, super healthy. I feel like it's a great, great, great mask for dry skin. So definitely check it out, but it is for all skin types. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I'm forever in the hunt for the perfect moisturizer. I found some, I like some, but this has to be the coolest science they have ever invented and it works. I don't know if you guys have tried the wet skin moisturizer trend that's going on, but this one is from Jergens. It's the wet skin moisturizer. They have different scents. This one is the argan oil one. Heals extra dry skin. I don't have extra dry skin, but I do have dry skin. I don't know if it's 24 hours, but it is extremely long lasting. You basically have to apply it in the shower and then once you get out, you just dry yourself like normal. You don't have to rinse it off. I have used it outside the shower where I'm still a little bit damped, but not super wet. If that makes any sense and it still works i love it i just mm, best invention ever hair products i have two to share with you guys this one is a shine protection kind of deal i thought it was a hairspray because it has like the hairspray cap thing and then i applied way too much and i noticed it was actually a shine spray so that's that. That's what happens when you don't read. Welcome to Natalie's world. Aside from the fact that it's a shine spray, which by the way, it's not like an intense shine spray. It just leaves your hair super silky and shiny naturally. It also has some heat protection and it says that it protects up to 450 Fahrenheit. 
pretty cool product so I got this in the mail in December ish and I was like what the heck is this I've never used this brand before it's called Goldwell it says Carousel repower so I read that and I was like all right maybe it's some sort of shine it says silk is some sort of shine I sprayed in my hair and I'm like oh my god it smells so good and then I read it and it's actually a hair perfume what they actually have hair perfume this is so cool I would usually just spray my regular body perfume which I've heard it's not good for your hair it actually dries your hair but this is for your hair and it's a perfume bomb.com smells really nice and it doesn't weigh down your hair obsessed last but not least has to go to my favorite perfume that I've been using for the past two months it's from Essay Lauder it's the modern muse La Rogue and it smells so good I don't even know how to describe this but it's like a sexy everyday kind of scent so you can use it in the morning or in the nighttime and it's going to just stay all night and I love it so before I jump into the music favorites I want to quickly give a Netflix recommendation that me and my mom were watching and I was hooked I cannot wait for season two and it goes to La Casa de Papel my baby Romeo recommended it and I was like oh my god I have to watch it and it was just it was amazing it's actually a really amazing show so if you guys are looking for a new show to watch definitely go check it out it's a show from Spain so it's in Spanish but it is translated in English if you guys want to watch it in English but I recommend it in Spanish because I like the Spaniard accent you know all right so I have my handy dandy microphone Let's begin. Drake came through. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Hey, hey. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. I am obsessed with Camila's new album and this one is definitely one of my favorites. soundtrack of the greatest showman is bomb I cried so many times in this movie, it's not even funny. Got me wrong. So I cut you off. I don't need your love. Cause I already cried enough. I've been done. You say I'm sorry. Please do that now. So save it. Get gone. Shut up. 
Trapping like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut the dope like 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 Pablo. So that was pretty much it for my favorites this month. I hope you guys liked it and found some new products to try out. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat if you guys want to keep up with me on my vacation to DR. Subscribe and see you next time. Bye. They have the. Wow, that's that hurt. Not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Um. Let's, like <laughs> Let's let it dry real quick. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Be going. Wow. People are so annoying today. Holy.